Hello, good morning everybody. Welcome to KHL Exercise Studio and welcome to our first core and floor workout of 2021. So happy new year to you all. Don't forget you can let me know that you're joining me this morning by liking the page or commenting in the box. I always like to hear from you because I always like to know who's watching. So before we start today's workout, you need to check that you've got plenty of space around you to move around in. You will need a chair and a floor mat for this morning's workout. It's a slightly different workout this morning. New routine for a new year so you will we will be doing some seated exercise as well later on you need to be wearing something comfortable that you can freely move around in and on your feet you need pumps or trainers to stop you from slipping before you participate in our workout this morning you need to be feeling fit and well and free from any medical conditions illness or injury so if we're ready to go we'll cue the music and off we go with our warm-up and just marching through Getting really warm on this cold and frosty morning. Let's march the feet wide and narrow. Take it wide and narrow. Give me heel and toe right leg. Heel into floor, tip of the toe to the floor. Warming up the ankle joint. Four, three, two, now changing sides. Heel into floor, tip of the toe to the floor. Four, three, let shoulder shrug the right shoulder. Lift and lower up. Two, three, and four, other side. Now circle those shoulders around. Bend the knees. Four, three, two. March it wide and narrow. Wide and narrow. One more time. Wide, narrow, wide, narrow. Give me a single great line. Side behind, side together. Leading with that heel. Back tall to be nice and tight. Four more like this. Four. Three, two, one more time. March it, march it here. Big marches. Lift those knees up. Give me four knee lifts, right leg. Lift it up. Four, three, two, one. Other side. Let's go for eight on the right now. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Changing side. Lifting that knee right up in front of the body. Four more. And take it to a hand curl. Eight hand curls. Body weight forward. Back tall to me in time. Four more. Eight on the other side. Heel to bottom. We're really getting this warm. Four more. Marching wide and narrow. Big marches. Now we're going to chasse to the right. Chasse right. And march. Chasse and march. Five more. March it here. With our head, we're going to look to the right now. Look to right, look centre. Warming up that neckline. Glancing up. Looking down. Glancing up. Looking down. Taking the hips around to the right. Take it down round to the left. Pelvic squeeze it forward, squeeze it forward, release. Twice more. March it, march it wide and narrow, wide and narrow. Are we getting warmer? Hope so. Chasse to the right, chasse and stop. Twice more. One more time. Single grapevine. Side behind, side together. Leading with the heel. Back tall to me and nice and tight. Four more like this. Three. Two. One. Now turn it away. To the right. Push forwards. Hips stay facing forwards. Just the upper part of the body moving. Keep it going. Four more. Three more. Two. Last one. Take it to a side bend. Take it over and lift it up. Keep that back tall. Keep that tummy pulled in nice and tight. Keep it going. Over, lift it up. One more each way. Single step touch. Arms out to side. Let's add a shoulder shrug to that. Lift it up. And the other side. Lift it up. 
Now circle round. Four, three, back to that march it. March it wide and narrow. Wide and narrow. One more. Heel and toe, right leg. Heel in the water, the toe the floor. And change the other side. Heel in the floor, to the toe to the floor. Four, three, two, march it through. Okay, from the position that we're in, we're just going to stand with our feet hip distance apart and pointing forwards. What we're going to do, check the pelvis is neutral. So, basically, I can see here that I've got my rib cage here. I take the back and it's nice and neutral. What we're going to do is I'm going to just take a breathe out and a breathe in. So I'm breathing in towards my hands and back out. Breathe into my hands and back out. Nice deep breath. So my air levels still were there. Back in again, breathe out, breathe in. And I can really feel that deep breath into those lungs. And as I'm doing that, my pelvis is engaging. Breathing in, breathing out. Right through the body. Four more, four, three, two, and last one. Okay, from here, what we're going to do is we're going to do some standing squeezes. So to do this, I'm going to focus on squeezing forwards at the front of my pelvis. So I'm going to just turn my toes slightly in, still keeping my knees in line with my toes so my knees are protected. I'm just going to squeeze, squeeze. So we're squeezing to the front. Very slight movement. So I'm just turn squeezing. Very, very slight movement. Just squeezing, working that pelvic floor. Three, two, one. Relax it there. We turn the feet back to parallel and we're just going to squeeze now and focus at the back. So squeeze, squeeze from the back, squeeze. So imagine that you've got to hold a matchstick between your bottom cheeks. Keep it going. Squeeze. Four more. Three more. Two more. Last one. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to lift up and we're going to imagine that we've got an elevator inside or a lift inside and we're lifting that elevator up through different floors. So we're going to squeeze. Squeeze up. Coming right up through the floor, and then it's going down through the floor. Again, lifting up, squeezing up through those floors, and back down. Again, lifting up, up, and back down. So we're working our pelvic floor, but our core is also having to work very hard working all around us. Lift it up. Two, three, and four. Take it down. Two, three, and four. Lift it up. Breathing up. And breathing down. Breathing in. Lifting up. And lifting down. I'd say lifting down so we lift it so we can take it down very nicely and control. Lift it down. Last time, lift it up, up, two, three, and four, take it down, two, three, four, and relax it there, okay, get to your chair, and we're actually going to do the same exercise, that lifting exercise on the chair, so feet flat on the floor, turn myself so you can see me, right, so feet flat on the floor, parallel in front, hands on the side of the chair, and I'm just do exactly the same as I've just done, lifting up, up through the escalator and down. Again, lift it up, up and down. The elevator's got four floors, up, two, three, 
Apple, take it down. Again, lift it up. Take it down. Twice more, lift it up. And take it down. Last time, lift up. Lift down. And relax it there. Okay, in the position that you're in, sitting on the chair, we're just going to clasp our hands in front. Feet facing forward. I'm going to twist to the right. So we're twisting to the right and centre. Now, as we do that, we're keeping our pelvis forward and obviously remembering to breathe out. Big deep breath. So as we twist, our pelvis stays engaged. Feet on the floor. Four more. Three more. Two more. Last one. Now go to the other side. So we're turning to the left and centre. It's a little bit like in the warm up. Twist. Centre. Now you'll feel it down the sides of your body as well as keeping that pelvic floor engaged. Hips facing forward. Four more. Three more. Two more. And last one, rest it there. And okay, back to the pelvic floor. We're going to work one for the inner thighs this time. And what we're going to do take the feet so they're just a little bit more than hip distance apart and we're going to use the inner thighs to squeeze together so we're using the pelvic floor and the inner thighs as we squeeze up so on this one your bottom and your hips are quite relaxed it's really the inner thighs and the pelvic floor that are doing the work squeeze in squeeze out squeeze in squeeze out so you're imagining that you're trying to catch something between your thighs. Squeeze in, squeeze out. Breathing out, breathing in. Squeeze in. Nice and controlled. You will start to feel it in your outer thighs a little bit too, but it's mainly your inner thighs, your pelvic floor that should be working. Four, three, two, and last one, relax it there. Okay, our next exercise, we're going to just put one hand in front and the other hand is going to reach up to here. We're going to thread it under. So what we're doing here is working down the sides of the body so through the core. We're going to reach it over. So it's as if you're passing a thread underneath your arm. Squeeze your tummy in. Squeeze. Keep going. Four more. Three more. Two more. Last one. Now change sides. Take it out. I'm going to thread it under. Under and up. Over and up. So we're really working down the sides of those abdominals. Over and up. Four more like this. Four, three, two. Last one. Give those arms a shake. Okay, coming to a standing position again. This time we're going to use the chair again, but we're going to use the chair standing. Check your feet are forward and parallel. What we're going to do is we're going to do a little squat and we're going to push the bottom back and then pull back up. So we're going to push it back back, squeeze up. Now as you do that, you're tilting that pelvis forward, push bottom back. So it's as if you're going to sit down on the chair and then someone's told you not to. Down, squeeze up. If you haven't got a chair, you can hold onto the wall to do this down, squeeze up, check those knees are pointing forward, in line with your toes, 
push that bottom back. Four more, three more, two more, last one. Rest it there. And from here, we're just gonna do some little squeezes. Squeeze. Just press that pelvis forwards. Four, three, two, one. Relax it there. Okay, for the position that you're in, this time we're gonna squat a bit further. Now, we must be careful with this that we don't put any stress in our knee joints. So that's why we have the chair to hold on to. So our body weight's going onto the chair rather than putting the stress in the knee joints. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that bottom a bit further back down and then squeeze it back up again and squat. If you don't feel comfortable with this, just do the little ones as if you're getting a pair of a chair like we just did. So let's press it down, pull it up. Keep that back flat, keep that body weight forward. Push your bottom back, pull up. Use your chair for your body weight so we don't put the stress in the knee. Keep it going. Push back, pull up. Now really squeeze that pelvic floor as you come up. As if you've got that matchstick between your thighs again. Keep going. Down, squeeze it up. Breathe out, breathe in. Keep going. Let's go for four more. Four, three, two, and last one. Rest it there. Give those legs a shake. You can really feel that one in your thighs, can't you? Put the chair to one side. And now we're gonna get our floor mats. Time for some floor work. Okay, then sitting down on your mat. We're gonna start with our feet flat on the floor. And then we're gonna roll slowly down onto our backs and while we're here we'll just have another go with the breathing so making sure your back is supported by the floor your pelvis is neutral that we haven't got an arch in our back that we shouldn't have okay we're just going to relax hands down on the floor breathe out and breathe in Breathe out and breathe in. If you want to place your hands on your stomach, you can feel that you're breathing into your hands and then pulling away. Breathe out and breathe in. Feeling that pelvic flow engage as you deep breathe. Breathe out and breathe in. Now we're going to do the same exercise as we did on the chair. We're going to bring those knees together. So we're going to squeeze together and release. Squeeze and release. Breathe in. Breathe in. Keep it going. Squeeze it through. Feet flat on the mat. Squeeze together. Try and keep your bottom relaxed so it's coming from the inner thighs and the pelvic floor. Squeeze. Four, three, two, and last one. Rest it there. Back to that breathing. Breathing out and breathing in. Breathe out and breathe in. And we're going to lift the foot off the floor to breathe out. Take it down. Other leg up and take it down. Up and take it down. Up, take it down. Up, squeeze your pelvic floor up. Take it down. Up, take it down. Okay, what we're going to do now is with this is take it into a dead bug exercise. So if you want to, you can combine some arms with it. So as I go up, I take the arm up and I bring the arm down. So as I'm doing that, I'm 
working my core as my knee goes up. My pelvic floor is engaged. I'm working that as well. Up and down. One more. Hold it there. We're going to do the reverse ones now. So we're lifting the heels off the floor. Hold them in the air if you can. And what we're going to do, holding them here, we're just going to lift it down and lift it back up. Working that to me. Not forgetting to breathe so the pelvic floor works at the same time. Down, lift up. Down, lift up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Last one, feet together, take it down to the floor. And we're just going to lift up and down again with those dead feet. So lift it up and down. Up and down. Four more. Bet you can feel that in your thighs now, can't you? Last one. And rest it there. Okay. Taking the heels together as they are, we're just going to drop the feet down. So the soles of the feet are together. And we're going to do a front crunch to finish with. Fingertips at the side of the head. Lifting and lowering. Lift and lower. Breathe out. Breathe in. So we pull in tight. Back flat. Out. Squeeze it. Nice and controlled. Four, three, two, and last one. Now from here, just bring the knees up together. And we're gonna just squeeze together. With that pelvic squeeze and knee crunch again. Keeping that pelvis flat, keeping that core pulled in tight. Breathing. Four, three, two, one. Feet together again. Second set. Lift and lower. Breathing out, breathing in. Now slowly we're going to come up, up and down, lift and lower, up, slowly lower it down, engaging that pelvic floor and back down, twice more, last one, and rest it there. Feet together and just reach your hands over your head, feeling a stretch down through those tummy muscles. And release it there. Open out the arms. And drop both knees over towards your right hand side. Feeling a stretch down the side of your body. We work those obliques pretty hard, so it's important we stretch them out. And relax it there. Swap it over, same on the other side. Feeling a stretch down the side of your body. And release it there, bringing both knees together. We're going to start by drawing the right knee in towards your chest to stretch out all these hard worked muscles. So feeling a stretch through your bottom, which has worked quite hard as a supporting muscle. A 
and now that leg that you've got hold of, try and straighten it the best you can, placing a footprint on the ceiling, stretching through the hamstring. Foot flat. And when you feel that stretch start to ease, try and bring that leg a little bit straighter, a little bit closer towards your chest, holding it there. And now placing the heel of that leg onto the knee of the opposite leg. Reach between the thighs and draw it in off the floor, feeling a stretch down through the outer thigh. And release it down. We're going to do the same on the other side, so drawing that knee in towards the chest, feeling a stretch through your bottom, hold it there. Placing that foot grid flat onto the ceiling, stretching through the hamstring, giving it a really good stretch through. And now placing the heel of that leg onto the knee of the opposite leg, reach through the legs and draw it in off the floor, giving it a really good stretch. release the feet down. Roll over onto your front and we're going to prop ourselves up onto our four, onto our hands first. Four, four. Press your pelvis forward and feel the stretch down through those abdominals and through those hips. Really press that pelvis forward giving you a really good stretch. If you want to increase the stretch, you could push yourself up into a full cobra stretch, but avoid this if you suffer with any back issues. And now releasing it back down onto the forearm. Just hold it there. Now take one hand forward, put your head onto your forearm, take the other foot up at the shoelaces and press the pelvis forward. So you get a nice stretch down the front of your thigh. Really important that we stretch these thighs as they do contribute to um, pelvic floor health. So if we really squeeze it. And relax that leg down. We're going to do exactly the same over on the other side. Head onto your forearm. Hold the shoelaces, press that pelvis forward, feeling a stretch down through the front of the thigh. Make the dangle, make the dangle. Don't stop, we gon' make the dangle. Make the dangle, make the dangle. Go, 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 go. Relax that leg down now. And push yourself up into the north forward position. Palms under shoulders, knees under hips, pull your tummy in and round your lower back, giving you a really nice lower back stretch. Hold it there. And release it there, looking forward. And relax, pull back up. Hold it there. Now slide your arms forward to feel a stretch through your shoulder, through your arms and through the bottom of Pull your arms in, curl up in a little ball. Stretching through your bottom, through your thighs, through your pelvic floor. Now if you can, push your hands, palms onto the floor and push yourself up onto your toes. Hold it there. Hold that position. Just stretch through. Stretch through your bottom. Don't stop. 
and from here slowly come up into a standing position push your back to one side we're going to start by stretching the inner thigh so we're just going to lunge down through to the right leg feeling that stretch in the inner thigh and take it open loosen up and hold the stretch at the other side reach up and across the body release it there take it again hold it there up and across your body feel that stretch down the side of your foot and do the inner thigh lunge two three Four, and we hold on top. Hug your arms forwards and stretch your upper back. Release it there, hands Don't in the small of your back, dangle. press your chest forward, feeling a stretch across the front of make your chest. Dangle. Make dangle. Don't stop, we gonna make the dangle. Place your right hand between your shoulder blades and your left hand over the top or pushing from the front. Giving you a really good stretch through those upper arms. Release it there, do the same on the other side. Up between and over or pushing from the front, feeling a stretch through the upper arms. Which have worked hard supporting us in our exercises. Place the hands on the side of the head and reach out to the side, feeling a stretch along the neckline and through the arm. Release there, do the same on the other side. That hand that's out to side, we're going to bring it in front, hold it between the joints and look over your shoulder, let's walk the feet in. Release there, same on the other side, arm in front. Hold between the joints, look over your shoulder. From where the feet are, we're going to take the right leg back. Front knee bent, back leg straight, bow heel press firmly into the floor, giving you a really good stretch in that calf. Now, press the pelvis forward, feel the stretch through your hip flexor. That hip flexor's worked very hard indeed during our farm and floor workout. Bring the feet together, same with the other side, take it back straight through the car. And bring your back leg in, stop the heel, press the pelvis forward, giving you a stretch in your hip. And finally, one big reach up, one big deep breath, and release it down. One more time, reach it up, and release it down. Give your hands a shake, give your legs a shake, and give yourselves a clap. Thank you very much for joining me this morning for our workout. Take care, see you again soon. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow morning, same time for another great workout. Take care, bye.